It's my birthday this week. I treated myself with a new handbag from the 22A collection. Well, I kind of bought it a little earlier than that. I did buy it during the launch and I did try a few different colors of this bag. Many of you guessed it right uh, and even the color right, so you guys are good. My essay did a great job boxing this for me because he is just so sweet and this is for my birthday, so it is extra special. A huge box, it is quite heavy. And like I said, my essay, so sweet. He gave me beautiful presentation. Took out the camellias. Such a huge, heavy box. Oh my goodness. I think this is probably one of my bigger Chanel box that I have ever gotten. And here's the beautiful bed. Guess the color, guess the color. Black. <laughs> yes. It's the black. 22 bag in the small size and as you can see there are a bit of wrinkling I have been using it I just couldn't wait and that is always a good sign because I love to be using my things if you guys haven't seen already I posted my hit and misses of my recent purchases and yeah I just don't like it when they are misses or even gray areas so this one I feel like is already a hit a huge hit so yes mine is in the small size as you can see I removed all the stuffing which is why it doesn't look puffy or anything it does have a little bit of depth and I will just put the exact measurement according to my measuring tape on the screen I love this medallion little detail on one of the chains I, of course, removed all the stickers already, except for the pouch because I actually never used the pouch. Um, but yes, it does come with the detachable pouch. It's a nice little clutch as well. It's a good size pouch and it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful same calf leather. I would say it's, it's shiny, but it's, it's not so glossy that you feel like oh my gosh it looks like plastic it might be the case on camera but um in real life this iteration the um 22a except i don't know it says 22b on my receipt but i bought it during 22a so it's very strange maybe because it's a black color so um the black is always a classic they don't uh, consider black as a seasonal color, so I'm not sure if that's the reason. And mine is lined in the black fabric. Let's go through some of the features, of course, and you guys um, can judge for yourself if it's a bag for you still or not. So we do have the Chanel logoing large quilting on the beautiful soft calf skin. The straps, they are really beautiful and they do move around so you can kind of move this medallion around more to the left side more to the right side and the chain is a beautiful thickness i love that these chains feel very comfortable they are surprisingly comfortable given the fact that uh, it is a larger bag and that you would think that oh it's going to be too heavy and hurt your shoulders i haven't found it to be the case to get into the interior you do have this magnetic closure which is very very beautiful it's stamped chanel on both of the buttons and you do have also snap button closures on each side and it also does have the chanel stamping on the snap button closures mine is black you can't really see much but there is one zippered pocket on one side and it is a large very generous zippered pocket as you can see and the handbag on the other side has the cereal chip and then um, it's just completely quilted so as you can see this is the quilting it's sort of that um cottony like shiny cotton quilting but here's the side profile and that's the depth of the bag let's talk quickly pros and cons and what i've noticed from using it obviously i'm having a honeymoon phase with this bag but it is 
it is definitely um, a practical bag more than a, a good looking bag. I think that is the pro. The pro is that this bag is such a good size and it's such a easy to sort of throw on your shoulder. It definitely has more of an edgier cool girl vibe if you will. It's a bag that fits a lot more than your typical classic flaps or your typical more structured handbags. It's a bag that you can just easily throw things in and it's a bag where you just feel so nice to have because uh, not only does it fit a lot, I have been able to just throw a jacket in, throw a scarf in, but not only that, even though it is a larger size bag, when I do need to set it down, say I'm having dinner in a crowded restaurant, I can just put it on my lap because it is really flat. You see, it's a really flat profile. It just sits so nicely on your lap and it's just so comfortable in a sense. You can sort of fold it, but the more you fold it, then of course the more creases there are and it will develop over time, but you can sort of fold it like this and also hold it as a clutch or just fold it and put it on your lap to make it into a smaller dimension. All in all, the main pros of this bag is just how easy going and how practical it is. The cons, I suppose, is that well, I guess it does look like a garbage bag because it's a very, very simple design. It's two pieces of leather with uh, details from Chanel that are signature, but essentially it's not the hardest bag to make, I'm sure. But because of its simplicity, it adds to the practicality of the bag. It is a calfskin that is coated similar to how a Chanel 19 leather is although the chanel 19 has had more iterations they do have the coated lambskin coated goat skin coated calf skin and a slew of different other fabrics and tweeds so it, the chanel 19 has had many more iterations we have yet to see other fabrics being made in this bag this is only the second iteration second season that this bag has debuted and so we shall see what development they're gonna uh, make with this bag. Essentially the main con of this bag is that it's not a looker, it's not a looker, but it's a very practical bag and perhaps the price. The price is very high but it is a Chanel. Chanel is always expensive so it almost is expected. I'm not gonna argue about whether this bag will become a classic. We don't know yet. It's way too early. Um, is it gonna be around long enough? Is it gonna retain its resale value? We all don't know this information. I do have a more extensive Chanel collection myself and uh, many different styles, but I feel like the ones that I love more or that I feel like are more hits versus misses are usually the ones that I get to rotate and use way more often. I love getting Costco wear and I love it when they're easy to use. So I feel like for me, it is still um, probably going to be one of those hits more than a miss. And regardless of all the cons, which it could be one day, it could be that it won't retain resale value. It could be that it's no longer popular or that they discontinue it. I guess it wouldn't matter because I love this bag so much. I already had this organizer waiting for this bag because I was just waiting to, for the stock to come in. And so I do have the Samorga organizer for it already. I chose it in this vibrant red color. And I went with the two millimeter thickness this time. They do offer it in several thickness. So you can, if you prefer, choose the thinner one. The reason why I went with their regular, the more classic thickness is that it does add more structure to the bag. And if you are using your pouch to put any sort of liquids, it's definitely a must in terms of protecting the lining. But as you can see, it's a perfect fit. Um, and it also gives it a bit of more structure in a sense. Four added pockets for the interior. I would even add maybe like a little side pocket here because I usually like to have my hand sanitizer standing up and I do use these spray bottles. I prefer these alcohol spray bottles. So I prefer if they were standing up in my bag. But aside from that, I just love the configuration of this. Not only does it add structure to your bag, I like it with the slouch obviously that is the style of the bag but i do like that the bottom and the overall shape i do like that it's more square
square. You know what I mean? So, um, like, like I don't mind if this part falls. I don't mind if this part scrunches even more because you can scrunch this part in more. Like you can kind of scrunch in into more of a bucket style. But as you can see, it already adds so much more brightness to the bag. And just the fact that you have a more organized view. I do use these pockets for say the phone and my keys because it makes it so much easier to grab because I'm always constantly grabbing my phone and which is which is why I said if there was just maybe one very slight pocket on either side of the organizer then I can add these bottles because I'm always reaching for hand sanitizer these days. You can use my coupon code to save 20% at checkout but yeah essentially I'm, I literally throw things in my bag. I don't really organize it so much but maybe for the wallet, maybe for the phone and um, for the mask I would just sort of slide it in between the bag and the organizer like you see here but it's such a great and liberating way of using a bag without having to play Tetris, without having to organize, without having to worry about space. This is a great handbag, a daily handbag but it's also a great bag where you take it for your quick errands. We do get charged for our shopping bags now and it's kind of silly to pay every time 25 cents for a little plastic bag when you're just buying little things such as makeup or cosmetics. So I have already been utilizing this as my you know shopping bag. Throw all my shopping in there, my jacket in there and it's just such an amazing and liberating feeling of being able to use a bag that you don't have so much restriction and it fits it fits everything and it does get heavier of course but the more things you have inside the nicer it actually looks so see now i have so much more things inside with the organizer it does keep its shape and the creasing happens right here because obviously it has to drape it is a soft leather but it's so beautiful and it's so functional. I love it so much. Technically, if they didn't offer this pouch, I wouldn't be so mad about it. I think it's nice to have, but you know, it, I guess it's nice to have, but like I, I don't really use it. I might use it in other bags. Um, as for this one, I think the only improvement I would ask for, if, I, if Chanel is ever even listening to me, is that they would add another pocket on the opposite side where it's just a slip pocket. I would love that. I would just love to have like a pocket just so I can slip my phone in, you know, which otherwise is swimming inside. Um, I could use the zippered pocket, but I just love a slip pocket that is just easier access, which is why the Samorga is such a lifesaver. It does that for you. And it is an added cost, but I think it's so worth it, especially for bags that have no structure. I know there are different sizes. Most people love either the small or the medium. With the medium being a larger bag, it does take up more space and you do get less of a drop, of a shoulder drop. So I feel like to get into uh, the bag itself, I prefer this drop because I think the chains are exactly supposed to be the same length, but because you have more bag then it takes up more of the chain. That is my personal preference. I like the small the most. I have tried it in the gray color and I have seen it in the caramel color. Oh my goodness, so beautiful. But in the end, I just knew black was just the easiest choice for me. It will always work and I don't have to worry about color transfer. I don't have to baby it, which is exactly what I wanted. This was my goal from the get-go. I wanted a bag that was a Chanel but I also wanted it to be carefree and usable and large and not heavy. It's very comfortable. So far it is anyway. I'm not walking miles and miles and miles carrying a very heavy bag so obviously it's still fine for me and I do drive around. I think if I had to walk around with a lot of things I would probably just bring a backpack, forget about looking cool and nice. So um, I think this bag has its place and I think it's a beautiful addition to the whole lineup. Virginie's designs and visions are different from Carl and I think you have to appreciate her for her. This is also her daily battle bag. My essay said that she designed this bag for the modern women who is always on the go and um, you know it's just it's just a practical bag. She just basically designed a bag that is practical. So it's for those people. It's for people like me who you know a lot of times needs 
needs to be on the run and we need to be able to fit a lot of things but still look really nice in it. love the look of the bag a bit slouchy on top so a bit more squished on top but I like it full on the bottom so with the help of the organizer inside it remains quite nice and structured on the bottom and of course I have tons of things inside I also love how you can drape one of the straps and make it kind of decorative and wear it like so however if you do like to wear with the strap draped I would suggest that you do snap in these buttons because it does help with the the bag not sagging as much but I love it when I unbutton everything because it makes reaching into your bag so much easier you see how there's not as much height now I can reach into my bag so much easier so I love both ways it just depends on my mood and how much security I need I suppose so as you can see right now, I have tons of stuff inside my jacket. My Chanel jacket is all rolled up and it fits inside. And the rest of my stuff in my organizer. Um, without the organizer, I would say it's still a really good bag. It's still very usable, obviously. But I really much prefer having it inside. It adds to the structure. It adds to the it adds to the shape overall of the bag and it just gives it more it, it just gives it a bit more umph without it it will just be more of a puddle it is designed to fit to the exact corner dimensions of the bag as you can see it is kind of a little triangular trapeze shape here on the corner and the bottom and the other corner and of course, the quality is always unmatched in terms of Felt Organizer. They are the original Felt Organizer company. And I love this bright red color. It really brightens the whole bag inside. But yeah, as you can see, without it, without it, it really is not that nice. Right now, it's empty. Um, it just doesn't have that shape. It really does look more like a garbage bag look without it. I quite um, think that it's a drastic difference so let's just pretend we put everything back inside right everything back inside and then with the jacket inside it just it just lacks a little bit it still is gonna be nice but I find that with the organizer I much prefer the look see it doesn't have that same shape that it did before it really doesn't do its justice now it's really just a puddle and I'm not sure I like this puddle look in fact I don't I really don't I, I love having the structure on the bottom it really helps it so much and because this bag is so flexible uh, you really do need it I 
I totally think that it's a must. Even my essay was telling me about getting an organizer. Don't expect it to be a classic flap. Obviously, it's totally two different things. I'm not trying to convince any of you that this is a great bag. I know it is a great bag for me. And those of you who are just kind of curious and not sure, here you are. This is, this is my thoughts on this bag. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would love to have you back. You can also become a member where you get extra exclusive live stream content. Uh, or you can buy me a coffee if you enjoyed this review. Thank you so much and have a great day. I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.